What would happen if Bonnie DH Scarp back into his prime sometime within the final saga? Theoretically, this could happen, and if it did, it would go down as one of the greatest One Piece moments of all time. In this video, I'm gonna go over how this scenario could actually play out, how strong Prime Garp would be, and of course fight that we would need to see versus Prime Garp. I honestly have some pretty good evidence that may prove that this situation actually may go down. And overall, I'm just so excited to talk about this what if, because Garp is one of my favorite characters in One Piece. And so now with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So before we get into anything major, let me briefly remind you what Bonnie's Devil Fruit abilities can do and why it matters. Throughout the Egghead arc, we see that she can create both distorted timelines and actual paths that already happened. For her to put Garp back into his prime, she needs to use her move, a skewer which de-ages someone back to whatever age she wants and heads up it's only for a certain amount of time which means Garp could not last in this form forever in my opinion this would actually be better for us one piece fans because can you imagine if Garp goes into his prime only for like 10 minutes or one hour or something like that that means that he'd have to go absolutely crazy since he only has a limited time to peak dude would be jumping around punching and smashing every goddamn thing in his path for at least a whole chapter. This is somewhat similar to how Gear 4 only has a certain amount of time to be activated, which forces Luffy to try his absolute hardest before completely running out of energy. Garp the hero would become Garp the villain, since in his prime, he's basically just Wreck-It Ralph. Nah, like seriously, why do these two look like multiverse twins? But anyways, so now that I explained how Bonnie's fruit works, now let's talk about the most important part of this video, which is how strong this prime Garp would even be. Well, we could only assume that he'd be an exact copy of himself in his prime, since his physical capabilities will return, and since his mastered hockey abilities should also theoretically stick around. This would be pretty similar to how Momo was aged up into a grown man, the only real difference being that Garp can't stay like this forever. And if he does become an exact copy of himself in his prime, then we could only use what we know from the manga to truly be able to scale his strength and oh man let me just say that i think a lot of people underestimate him i mean considering that prime garp was able to go toe to toe with guys like roger whitebeard and rocks we could only assume that he was at least yonko level even now in his old age he's got to be on the level of what we saw from old whitebeard at marineford and if garp went back into his prime that means that he may become arguably the strongest man in the entire world for a few minutes. Since he was the dude that actually took down the Rocks crew, I'd say that the only guy in One Piece that's even on his level is Shanks. I personally also think that Garp has the greatest hockey of all time, even better than Shanks and Roger, since the dude literally fought guys like Roger, Rocks, and Whitebeard without any weapons. Like, I don't think people realize how insane this is. Like, I mean, you'd think that anyone who touches a black blade with their fist would get their hand chopped off or at least have an extreme scar but no garp the fist can punch black blades combined with the hockey of the pirate king like this dude garp is the definition of built different like, forget Monkey D. Garp, his name should really be Gorilla D. Garp because he's built like a whole ass gorilla. And by the way, I recorded this entire video before Chapter 1080 came out, and man, oh man, it seems like it's finally been confirmed that Garp has Congress Hockey, which is so hype because I was always one of the main YouTubers hyping up Garp to be one of the strongest people of all time. Like, I can't believe people used to bring up the argument that Oda technically didn't confirm that he had Congress, even though we know he fought Conker's masters like Roger and Whitebeard without any weapons or devil fruits. Plus, with moves like Galaxy Fist, we know that Garp the Fist could one-shot Island in his prime. I mean, think about it. This move only showed some of his strength considering that he's almost 80 years old. Like, imagine what he could do 30 to 40 years ago. I mean, he's the one who said that his cannonball throws don't fly half as fast as they used to and i know that he probably didn't mean that he's literally not even half of his prime strength but it definitely shows that at the bare minimum he's a lot weaker than he used to be also in chapter 1081 garp once again brings up that he's a lot weaker than what he once was even after he one shot at an island somehow even though he's much weaker he's still able to grab aokiji by the face and throw him down into the ground if he's still able to do these things one can only imagine what he could do in his prime on top of this it's really interesting that garp brings up these two quotes because it almost seems like it could be a foreshadow by oda that he's actually gonna go into his prime sometime by the end of one piece like garp is literally the only old head who continuously brings up how he hates getting old and how he wishes he could still be at his full strength garp's the one old head who 
would be itching for Bonnie to allow him to be de-aged, and I'd honestly see this happen in a sort of funny way as Garp deep down would really, really want to go into his prime, but he wouldn't want to admit it to Bonnie. When it's about to happen, he'd probably say something like, I'm only allowing this to happen because I have to do it for us to survive, even though he'd be absolutely pumped deep down. Now going back to Garp's true strength, I honestly just don't understand how people used to say that Prime Garp is overrated when even at 76 years old, which by the way is 4 years older than Whitebeard, he said that he was gonna kill Sakazuki and I honestly believe that he could have. He also one shots Bergs and even sends a 1st division Yango commander straight back to the ground which is right where he belongs since it's below Garp. And now that you understand how if Garp went into his prime, he'd be arguably the strongest man in the world, now let's discuss the best matchups versus this version of Garp. My favorite matchup with Prime Garp would be against the Gorose, and not just one of them in particular, but actually all five against him at once. You may think that this is a bit of an overload, but I already want to see old Garp battle one of these political planets, and I think even then he'd kick their butt in a one on one. So you already know how I think the fight would go if it were a one on one with Garp in his prime and a Gorose. I honestly don't even know if Garp would be able to win the 5v1 since we literally don't know at all what the Gorose could even do. However, I think this would be a perfect opportunity for Oda to reveal some things on what happened at God Valley and why Garp doesn't want to talk about it. Like I really think there's some history with Garp and the Gorose specifically because they're has to be a reason he absolutely hates their guts. Like I know celestial dragons are easy to hate on because they're actually just terrible people, but I don't know, I've got a gut feeling that there's something more with it when it comes to Garp. I also see there being a decent chance of this fight happening considering that Bonnie probably hates the celestial dragons just like how Garp does. And since it seems she's gonna stick around the straw hats for a while, I feel like this scenario actually may happen and here's how. So since Bonnie will most likely stick around the straw hats just like how Law and Vivi did, she may be there when Luffy finally sees his grandpa for the first time in the time skip, and if this does happen, Bonnie could tell Garp that she'll turn him into his prime for one hour if he saves her dad from the celestial dragons at Marijua. It really seems like Kuma is either going to be captured or may even die at Marijua, and Bonnie will most likely want her revenge after she finds out he's at Marijua. If Kuma ends up being saved by the revolutionaries for the second time, or even if he ends up dying at Marijua, Bonnie would still probably agree to allow Garp to go into his prime, to get revenge on these celestial dragons for what they did to Kuma at the reverie and what they're doing to him right now. We also already know how much Garp hates them and he'd honestly probably accept this offer even without the need to save Kuma. He'd probably just do it to kick the Gorosei's butt and since they have planet names, he'd stick his fist right up Uranus. This fight between the Gorosei and Garp would be extremely intense since we know for a fact that the only reason they haven't executed Garp this far is only because of his accomplishments and stature. And we also all know how the D's are the sworn enemies of the gods, and that it's their destiny to take them down. And just like how Luffy took down Doflamingo with a big ol' punch, I could definitely see Garp doing the same thing to Blondie over here or to one of the older ones. Just like how Michael Jordan lost when playing 1v5 versus the 5 Hall of Famer 1986 Celtics in Game 3. Prime Garp would also put up a historical performance like this and lose while putting up a legendary fight. I would think he would take out at least one of them in this ultimate battle and let me know in the comments how you think this battle would go. If Garb did make the promise to save Kuma from Marijua, then he may just run in there, causing absolute chaos, punching whichever admirals, CP0 members, celestial dragons, and Gorosei members get in his way, breaking the entire castle left and right while looking for Kuma. The dude would quite literally have an 8th gate awakening moment and would probably accomplish the mission at task. I also wonder if Garp would try to one shot the entire Pangaea castle, and even if he doesn't intend on doing this, the entire castle would probably fall apart while he and the Gorse have a legendary fight. Now, the next potential matchup would be Prime Garp versus Blackbeard, and I really feel like this fight could actually go down. Let me explain why. So now that we know that Garp is definitely going to save Kobe, Garp may end up still wanting to fight Blackbeard himself for revenge for taking Kobe in the first place. This could be one way their fight could go down. However, another way is if Garp captures some of Blackbeard's crew 
to put them back into prison, and before he puts them back into Impel Down, Blackbeard might actually be the one to pull up on Garp in order to save his crew members. Maybe this fight would go down on Egghead Island, and there's actually a decent amount of evidence from the manga that may prove this. Also remember that I recorded this entire video before 1080 and 1081 came out, and now that we know that Garp is going to have to fight Aokiji at full of lead, his mission to rescue Kobe is going to be a lot more difficult. With this, I believe there's three outcomes that could happen. The first one is that Garp and his rescue team defeat Aokiji and the Blackbeard Pirates and escape with Kobe and the other prisoners. The second outcome is that Aokiji betrays Blackbeard and helps Garp escape. The third outcome is the craziest one, which is that Garp sacrifices himself to fight all the Blackbeard Pirates, including Kuzan, by himself to allow his crew to escape. This third outcome would lead to Garp being captured and put into prison at Fulaled. If this happened, I could see Luffy rescuing his grandpa when he fights Blackbeard. And while doing this, if Bonnie is still with the Straw Hats, she may end up de-aging Garp to fight Aokiji and Shiryu while in his prime. Now for the other two outcomes where Garp leaves Fulaled safely, if Garp himself does somehow escape, I think he and Blackbeard could fight on Egghead and here's why. So Blackbeard pirates are showing up to Egghead and now that we know that it's not Aokiji that puts up the ultimate question, who showed up at Egghead. I feel like there's a decent chance of this pirate being Blackbeard, and even if this isn't him, I feel like there's still a good chance of him showing up later on in the arc, especially after we found out that he defeated Law. We know he was waiting on Luffy, Law, or Kid to show up on Winter Island, and if he's still trying to fight one of them, he may go to Egghead to see if anyone's there. Another reason he may want to go to Egghead is because Vegapunk is a heavy researcher on Devil Fruits, and we know that Blackbeard's entire crew's power is based on Devil Fruits' powers. I could definitely see Blackbeard going to Egghead to steal a bunch of devil fruits or things of the such. And now with Blackbeard possibly going to Egghead, why do I also think Garp would go to Egghead? Well, we also know that at G14, there was a mix of sword members along with navy members heading over to Egghead. And notice how Dahl even says, you can't do this, Vice Admiral Garp. We're just about to set sail for Egghead. Don't undercut our manpower. Of course, Garp, being the Chad that he is, laughs at her opinion on the matter. And now the reason I bring this up is because it shows that Garp took a lot of Dahl's soldiers, which means he'll probably have connections and a transponder snail with Dahl's crew. This means that someone on Dahl's crew would tell Garp that Blackbeard is at Egghead, or at least that one of his crew members is. If this happens, then there's a chance for Garp to go to Egghead and be turned into his prime self by Bonnie to ultimately fight off the Blackbeard pirates. I'll be going more into what I think could happen at Egghead if Garp shows up, but for now, let's first discuss how this fight with the Blackbeard pirates would go down. So for First off, Prime Garp going at it with Blackbeard himself would be the ultimate matchup because it's the Hockey God versus the Devil Fruit King. Someone like Garp is Loki Blackbeard's one weakness since he can't use his darkness abilities to take away Garp's powers in the way that he did against Ace. Like, it's not really an actual weakness, but Blackbeard just doesn't have that insane advantage over Garp like he does with most people. This fight would be absolutely insane as we see two Yonko caliber fighters go at it 100%. Prime Garp would probably be in a rage since he loves Kobe like a family member, and he'd most likely get the better of Blackbeard, even knocking the stench off of him. I mean, if the dude can permanently dent a Conqueror's hockey user's head, I'm pretty sure he should at the bare minimum be able to knock out the rest of Blackbeard's teeth once and for all. After this fight, Blackbeard would probably need to wear a grill for the rest of his life. However, this fight wouldn't be one-sided at all because the teacher himself has some of the most OP and ridiculous feats in the entire series. If Blackbeard awakened either one of his fruits, then I would say he should be as strong as Kaido. However, if he awakened both, then he's probably a little higher than Kaido and on the same spot as Shanks. For all we know, Blackbeard could have not awakened either, and if this were the case, then I'd have to put him below Kaido and probably even below Big Mom. I mean, we saw him get absolutely obliterated by Sengoku at Marineford, and I honestly don't think he would win that fight at that time. We also have to consider the fact that Marshall might have a third fruit, however, I'm not gonna try to power scale that in this video, because we don't even know if he has one yet, and if he does, we don't even know which fruit it is. I wonder if Blackbeard obtained the Hito Hito no Mi model, like, and subscribe, which allows the user to gain power when you like the video and subscribe to the channel. This channel actually does have an insane monkey family theory coming out soon, which ties in Dragon, Luffy, Garp, and their lineage with things from the Void Century. I'm also doing a face reveal video at 50k and we're getting closer and closer to that accomplishment every single day, so subscribe with notifications turned on if you want to see either video when it first comes out. And now, with all that being said, 
said, I now want to explain exactly how I think Blackbeard vs Garp would actually go if they fought on Egghead Island. And by the way, this is a complete hypothetical. I'm not trying to write the story for Oda. This is all just for fun. And so now, what if Garp and Blackbeard actually pulled up to Egghead? So it would start out with Bonnie turning Garp into his prime. And the reason she does this is because she knows the Straw Hats and the Egghead citizens are going to need as much help as they can get to escape without any casualties. She knows that the Straw Hats will have to fight the entire marine fleet while someone else will have to fight off the Blackbeard pirates. Bonnie also remembers the time when Blackbeard disrespected the hell out of her and had her turned in by a Kainu. Because of this, she agrees to allow Garp to go into his prime to pound the shit out of Blackbeard's crew. After Garp transforms, he says something like, I'm back and then calls out to Blackbeard, you messed with the wrong marine, are you ready for an ass whooping? Blackbeard senses his hockey and thinks to himself, why do I feel like I've seen this guy before when he suddenly realizes that it looks like the exact same guy who he witnessed fighting Prime Whitebeard. He wonders to himself, how can this be? But there isn't much time for thinking because Garp immediately jumps over to him to press him even further. Just as Garp is about to punch Blackbeard in the face, Blackbeard puts his fist up to block it with the Gura Gura Nomi's vibrations. As they're fist clash, Garp sends his other fist straight to Blackbeard's face, and Blackbeard tries using his other fist to block the attack with the Yami Yami no Mi's abilities, but Garp punches right through it with his extremely advanced hockey. After this, Blackbeard realizes that this is not a fight he wants to deal with, and he calls over his crew members to help him out. Garp, still being in a furious rage, starts gorilla jumping and swinging at every goddamn Blackbeard pirate that gets within range. He one-shots every single man that he hits until Berg shows up. Berg's remembers the last time he got one-shotted by Garp and then tells Garp that won't be happening anymore after he got the strong strong fruit. Garp mean mugs like a fist of the North Star character and says to him, you might have gained the abilities of the strong strong devil, but I am the strong strong devil. Bergs then picks up one of Vegapunk's monster sized robots and chucks it at Garp. Garp is just about to break the robot with his hockey filled fist in the same way that he broke 8 mountains as a warm up before fighting Don Shin Zhao, but he changes his mind and instead catches the robot with his strength and sets it down, making sure that no one around him gets hurt. He did this because he didn't want the innocent civilians to die from the destruction. After this, he and Bergs then charge towards each other with an ultimate clash, but Garp overpowers him since physical strength isn't the thing that matters the most when someone has Conger's hockey. As he defeats Bergs, his prime form begins coming to an end and he goes back to being an old man. Although he's still very powerful, to the point where some would even say he's still as strong as a Yonko, he can't overpower Blackbeard anymore. Garp realizes this and right as he's about to start fighting Blackbeard once again, the entire island is about to be destroyed by the Buster Call. Garp and Blackbeard need to get out of there quickly so they agree to let this fight go on hold. Blackbeard then starts using the powers of the Gura Gura no Mi to send tsunamis to Egghead Island which forces everyone in the vicinity to get the hell out of there. He thinks to himself if the world governments can destroy the island themselves then I might as well do it too. Blackbeard and his crew fly off with Stronger and get protected by the water using San Juan Wolf, the colossal battleship. The Straw Hats escape with Bonnie using Coup de Burst and Garp, even at his old age, has to save the entirety of the marine fleet by using Galaxy Fist against the Tsunami. This move is able to stop the water from killing countless marines and Garp once again is praised for being a hero. And so now that I explained how I think Blackbeard vs Prime Garp would go at Egghead, now let me tell you another reason we could potentially see Garp going to Egghead, and this time he might fight the Marines. So if Blackbeard himself isn't at Egghead, we could still potentially see Garp coming through. Maybe after Garp rescues Kobe at Fulaled, he heads over to Egghead to return the Navy men that he previously stole. Because remember, as I said before, Dahl's crew at G14 was supposed to go to Egghead with her and Garp, would ultimately just be bringing them back to their original mission. However it happens, if Garp actually does pull up to Egghead, then there'd be a very high chance for Bonnie to turn him into his prime self. This time, he may end up fighting Marines or the Gorosei because Oda himself is hyping up the Egghead incident to be something that will both fuel the final war and completely shock the world. And if the final war is going to begin after this event, it wouldn't surprise me if in this arc, we finally see everyone's true colors. Now, what I mean by this is that in the Marines, it seems that the factions of Sword are against the Celestial Dragons, since Sword seems to be a direct parallel with Shield or the Cypher Pool Aegis factions. If this is true, then is it really a coincidence that Oda put all of the Sword members with Garp 
to rescue Kobe while the rest of the Marines from G14 went with Dahl. The Egghead arc could definitely be the spark or the beginning of where we see some sword members act upon their true intentions and possibly fight against the Celestial Dragons. I mean, I'd only expect the Final War arc to not only have physical battles with pirates versus the marines, but also civil war conflicts within the entirety of the world government. With the current confirmation of sword, we now know that they can do whatever they want without anyone's authorization. I really feel like Garp was the one who helps out this faction of the marines since he wouldn't allow himself Self to follow Akainu's orders, and on top of that, he'll also never listen to the Celestial Dragon's orders. The only thing that probably kept Garp from starting Sword is the fact that Sengoku is his friend, and he didn't mind listening to his orders. Now with Akainu in there and Sengoku retired, everything changed for Garp. I feel like Egghead is the perfect opportunity for this civil war conflict to begin, and if Garp does pull up, we could only assume that he'd fight for the ones he loves, since remember, he doesn't have sympathy for criminals, but for his family, he does, which means he'd most likely fight alongside Luffy, and that ultimately means that Bonnie may allow Garp to turn into the GOAT to help them escape and to help them fight the Blackbeard Pirates. Like, if I'm gonna be completely honest, as of right now, there's no way in hell the Straw Hats are getting out of Egghead safely without some help. Like, Luffy is gonna have enough trouble with Kizaru alone, and Zoro, Sanji, and Jinbei taking care of the Seraphim leaves pretty much no one to fight the entire Marine fleet and the Blackbeard Pirates on top of that. If Garp pulls up to Egghead, he may not only end up fighting Blackbeard Pirates, but also someone else he despises which is Jay Garcia. Also, if Garp doesn't pull up to Egghead, I wonder if Luffy will run into him within the next few arcs. Since Egghead, Fulaled, and G14 are all extremely close islands in the New World, I could definitely see them running into each other in a few arcs, which could potentially lead to Garp and Bonnie's situation going down. Now, the next guy I'd like to see Prime Garp go up against would be Akainu. Every single One Piece fan wants this fight to go down one way or another after Garp almost obliterated the Lava Boy on live television during Marineford. These two got to have some extreme beef after Ace's death and this fight to see Prime Garp go at it with the current fleet admiral would be insane. If Bonnie is around Garp during the time when these two are about to go at it, she might allow Garp to go in his prime because remember, she wants revenge on Akainu for locking her ass up. This fight would go crazy considering that Akainu and Garp are both two of the strongest marines ever and if Garp went into his prime for a long enough time, then I think he'd be the one to take the dub. However, current Akainu should be stronger than 78 year old Garp. And actually, have you ever wondered what would have happened if Garp actually fought Akainu at Marineford? Would he have actually killed him or would Akainu have been able to defend himself? If Garp killed him, what would the marines look like with Aokiji as the fleet admiral? Would Garp have been arrested for trying to kill the one guy the Celestial Dragons wanted as fleet admiral? Well, if you're interested in these questions, I have good news for you. I explained how this entire situation would have played out in this video right here. So click on this video if you want to be mind blown by this insane what if.